In this lecture, you'll learn how snapshot schedules and policies work. As you learned in the last lecture, the ONTAP cluster takes scheduled snapshots of NAS volumes by default. And you're going to learn how those schedules work in this lecture. The ONTAP cluster does not take scheduled snapshots of SAN volumes by default because we want those to be managed with client integration. And best practice is to use Snap Center to take consistent snapshots for SAN protocols. So you could apply a schedule to a volume being used for a SAN protocol, but it's best practice not to do that. You should use Snap Center instead. So here we're going to be talking about the schedules that we should be using on our volumes that are being used for NAS protocols. The default schedule for NAS volumes takes a combination of hourly, daily, and weekly snapshots and retains 10 snapshots. You're going to see when those snapshots are taken coming up on the next slide. After the first 10 snapshots are taken, the oldest snapshot is deleted whenever a new snapshot is taken. So a total of 10 scheduled snapshots is always maintained. So it's always going to be 10 snapshots, which are going back to the same amount of time. So the amount of space that your snapshots are taking up should remain consistent over time. We'll talk about that more in the next lecture as well. Custom snapshot policies can be configured, which use different schedules and retain different amounts of snapshots. And different volumes can use different snapshot policies. And again, the reason why you would want to use different policies for different volumes is going to be covered in the next lecture. The maximum number of snapshots that you can have per volume is 255. Okay, so this is having a look at the default snapshot policy now. So to do that, I've entered the command snapshot policy show policy default. And you can see in there that in the default schedule, it takes hourly snapshots and it retains the most previous six of those. It takes daily snapshots and retains the most previous two, most recent two. And it takes weekly snapshots and retains the most recent two copies of those as well. And looking at when those actually occur, we can do that by using the command job schedule cron show. For the hourly snapshots, we can see that they happen every hour at five minutes past the hour. The daily snapshots happen every day at 10 minutes past midnight. And the weekly snapshots happen every Sunday at 15 minutes past midnight. So you can see that the times are staggered there to keep them apart. Okay, and with this default, so with this default schedule, it will take a snapshot at five minutes past the hour every hour, and it will keep the last six copies of those. It will take dailies at 10 past midnight every day, and it will keep the most recent two, and it will take a weekly every Sunday at a quarter past midnight, and it'll keep the most recent two of those as well. So with the default snapshot schedule, it's gonna have snapshots going back up to two weeks in time. Let's have a look at creating a custom schedule now. So to do that, the command is job schedule cron create. Here I've called my schedule demo, and I've said that the times I want this to occur at is I've said dash hour, 8, 12, 16, and 20, and then dash minute, five so what this will do is it will occur at five minutes past eight in the morning at five minutes past midday at five minutes past 4 p.m and at five minutes past 8 p.m to verify this we can do a job schedule cron show and that will show us all of our available job schedules so all the rest that you see here are there by default anyway and i've added my custom one which is demo and you can see there it's verified that that occurs at five past eight in the morning, five past midday, five past 4 p.m. and five past 8 p.m. So when you configure this, you use 24 hour format. Okay, so we've created our schedule and you can see it verified there. And then next up, let's actually create a policy from this. So to do that, I've said snapshot policy create. This works at the vServer level. So here I've said it's for vServer department A. 
then dash policy give the policy a name i've named my policy demo so i called my schedule demo here i'm also calling my policy demo as well it's fine you can name them both the same it doesn't cause a conflict have to say enabled true and then i say schedule one is demo and count one four so count one and schedule one are tied together and this is saying that it is going to take a snapshot occurring to the demo schedule so that is at five past eight in the morning five past twelve five past four p.m and five past eight p.m and it's going to keep the most recent four copies of those it's and then i've said schedule two daily and count to two again schedule two and count two are tied together and this is saying to take snapshots occurring to the daily schedule and keep the most recent two of those so it's going to take snapshots at five past eight five past twelve five past four and five past eight pm and it's also going to take snapshots every day at 10 minutes past midnight every day and it will keep the most recent two copies of those okay so let's have a walk through and see exactly what is going to happen here so this example is using this snapshot policy here and right now we've created the schedule we've created the policy we would also have to apply this policy to a volume as well so don't forget to apply it to your volume as well if you are configuring this okay let's see what would happen there so in our example it's wednesday on the 14th of december 2019 this is using us date format and it's 4 p.m and you saw in our schedule that the first snapshot is going to take place at five past four and the name of the snapshot is going to be the the name of the policy which was demo so it's demo dot and then the timestamp. so the name of the snapshot is demo dot 2019 dash 12 dash 14 underscore 1605 so we take that snapshot then then the next snapshot was scheduled to take place at five past eight so we'll take a another demo snapshot then then the next one that occurs is our daily snapshot at 10 past midnight this is on wednesday night or thursday at 10 past midnight now so at that time we'll take the daily snapshot which is prefixed with daily the next snapshot occurs on thursday morning at five past eight the next one is on thursday at five past midday and remember we were going to retain the four most recent demo snapshots well we've got four demo snapshots now the next time we take a snapshot is at five past four on thursday and because we always retain the four most recent ones when we take that snapshot we delete the oldest one so we've now still got four most recent demo snapshots then we take another one at five past eight when we take the demo snapshot at five past eight again we delete the oldest one so we're retaining the four most recent and then we take another snapshot the daily snapshot at 10 past midnight at this point we've got two dailies and we were going to retain two dailies so the next time we take a daily we will delete the oldest daily then we take another snapshot a demo at five past eight on friday morning delete the oldest demo snapshot we take another snapshot at five past twelve again delete the oldest one so we're always retaining four demo snapshots at five past four and delete the oldest one at five past eight and delete the oldest one and then we have our daily on saturday at 10 past midnight and then we delete the oldest daily because we're retaining the two most recent dailies and then the next snapshot would be on saturday morning at five past eight and again we would delete the oldest demo snapshot then so you can see here after we've gone through a full rotation and we've got four demos and two dailies we're always going to end up still keeping the six most recent snapshots we're always going to have the four most recent demos and the four most recent dailies whenever we take a new one we delete the oldest one so you can see that because we always have the six most recent the amount of space that the snapshots are going to take up is going to say stay pretty much the same over time now it will fluctuate a little bit depending on how much data is changing in the volume over the particular days and weeks but it will remain relatively constant thanks for watching 
If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.